Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And this is the Sunday shave of the day. And tonight we're in episode two. We will be using my Wade and Butcher for gentleman's use. 15 16 blade, barber's notch, and it's a wedge, or a near wedge at least. Nice shaver, really good. Out of the mid-1800s, probably 1840 to 1860, I believe. And for our shave soap tonight, we're using Sterling Soap Company, and this is Black Eyes. Now that is like the old-timey black licorice, and this has got a hit of menthol as well. And down in the description, we will have uh, all the ingredients in the scent profile. And I've got my Omega 10,098 for our brush tonight, and it is loaded up. That means we're in episode two. <laughs> All right. So tell me, guys, you know, how did your, your week go to start with? You know, last time I saw you, it was Wednesday. So tell me, how, how did your week go? And hopefully it went well with work and, I don't know, vacations, holiday, whatever you were doing. Hopefully it was good for you. And then, you know, how about the weekend? You having a good weekend? You know, here it is Sunday night again. And uh, so far so good on my side. Weekend's going well. And uh, really this week and the weekend, I've been having great shaves. Hopefully you guys have been too. Because really, this is so nice to be able to just relax, enjoy, unplug, get away from things. Very good. Oh yeah, look at that soap. Look at the peaks on that. I'm telling you, and it's a nice slick soap. This is a towel-based soap, so it it is definitely slick. And that licorice scent just really brings me back. It is so good. It really is. I really enjoy that black licorice. All right, and before we even get started, we're going to go ahead and put some alum on those fingers. We're going to need that. All right. Nice. Great feedback on this razor for me. Uh, you guys probably can't hear anything. But, uh, you know, good feedback. Not so much audio, but the feel is all there.
All right, and that smiley blade really does help with uh, all the chin work. For me, anyway. Just the way my chin goes, I got a divot like right there. And it helps, it really does. Okay, getting there. Nice. Yeah, hit a little bump. All right, looking good.
Nice. All right, just a little left with this first pass in episode two. All right, there we go. Nice. Let's get that cleaned off, see how we did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, those cheeks are absolutely wonderful. Yeah, very nice. All right. There we go. Now, time for the half pass. And why do we call it a half pass? Because we're only going to do half. Hence the name half pass. All right. Okay, first pass of episode two, that was south to north. And that was across the grain on my neck. That was against the grain on my cheeks. Now, this half pass, this is actually going to be across the grain. Or no, I'm sorry, against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Because we're going to go from my ears to my chin. All right. And that is going to be against the grain for that area of my face. Oh yeah, nice.
Nice. Very nice. All right, there you have it. Another shave in the books. Let's get that cleaned off. Oh, all right. Oh, that's good. That is good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, guys. Got another good one. Got another good one. All right. Alum everywhere. I'm telling you, another great shave. Oh, wow. All right. And you do a dab of Thayer's Lemon. Witch hazel. Good for the skin. And tonight, to take it over the top. All right. What we are going to do, I have just got my Osage rub. This is excellent. I've tried it a couple of times. It has some menthol in it. Wonderful. Mmm. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Now, if you guys haven't seen episode one, it's going to be right here. Okay? And... Please subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends on this side. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.